and welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create point, line, and polygon shapefile in QGIS. So there are two methods for it. You can directly click on over here, new shapefile layer. So it will be available in the data source manager toolbar. So if you don't find this data source manager toolbar, right click on this empty space, come down to the option toolbar section. Here you can find the data source manager toolbar. Otherwise, at the top you can find layer and you can see the option create layer. Here we, we are going to select new shape file, new shape file layer, press it once. So after doing so, you can find the file name. So here you can just uh, click the button browse so that you can uh, create the shape file in appropriate uh, location or your desired location. So here, first of all, I'm going to create a point. And hit the button save. So I have given a name point QGIS and I have uh, selected the locations. Now the next option will be file encoding. Here it will be as default uh, UTF8. And the next option is geometric type. Here first of all we are going to create a point. So we are going to select point over here. And in the additional dimensions if you want to uh, uh, give the z values you can uh, select the z values so in this case i am going to leave it as it is because i am not going to give any z values z values specify the height and now you can see the next option below this is nothing but the projection so here you can see a few projections over here because it i, I have already used few projections so that is why it's showing me the uh, projection which I used already so if you don't if you don't uh, find any projection relevant to a area you can click on this uh, button select the CRS here you can select the appropriate projection which you are need you can directly type in over here and find it and you can select it for example you can see I am going to use WGS84 UTM so if you search it in the top you will be getting it WGS 1984 UTM 044 so you can see this is uh, for the specific region which is located in India sorry uh, in India a part of China Mongolia and Russia so let me click OK and now the next option will be creating the new field so here we'll be creating a new field so it is nothing but we are going to create the attributes for the points point data here let me give name and you can see the type as text I am going to save it in text and uh, let me uh, make the length here you can specify the text length so let me put it 50 and uh, hit the button add field so we are creating this uh, attributes to, stay the, to store the information about the data. For example, if you are uh, creating one point, uh, you, you, you should be naming it or you should be giving any identity. So in order to give information about the point, we need the attributes. Attributes are essential for knowing the information of a spatial data. So next let me create another field. So let me create another uh, field and the field name will be distance and the type you can see uh, around four types are there. You can uh, choose any of the four. For example if you want to create, give some names you can use a uh, text file. For numbering you can use whole number, decimal numbers can be used and you can also use date. So here I am going to use whole number and hit the button add field. Now click the button OK. So we have first successfully created a point in QJS. So likewise you can create a line and polygon. So once again go to the option layer and 
select the option create layer once again select the option new shape file layer here once again we can browse and give a name to the file so here i am going to name it as line qjs and i am going to save it once i have saved it we are going to go to the next option geometry type here i am going to select line string for creating line and i am going to in the additional dimension i am going to select z value and i am going to select the projection so this is the projection which i am selecting if you want you can search it on the top next we come back to the field here let me give name for example if you are creating a road you can give a name for the road that will be an information added to the spatial data here let me make it as 50 so road name will be not uh, that much bigger so i am just resting the restricting the length to 50 and hitting the button add to field list so next we are going to create another field where i am going to give length so the length of the road can be measured for that i am giving so for that i am giving a, a name length field name length and here I am going to select decimal numbers and finally hit the button add to field list so we have created two fields that you can see over here and finally hit the button ok so we have created a line shape file in QJS so finally I will show you how to create a polygon so here we are going to use this uh, option same thing just click over here and here we are going to specify the by selecting this option we are going to uh, browse and save the file where we want it so the final will be polygon and let me give name it as polygon QJS and save it once again geometric type we are going to select polygon over here and in projection so already I have added some projections so our favorites will be always been shown over in the bottom so what we have previously selected so I am using that option and making it easier now let me create a field over here I am going to name it I am going to uh, give a I am going to create a field called as name so in type I will be specifying it as text data and uh, so here let me rest, uh, restrict the length to 40 so hit the button add to field list and finally I am going to create another field and we will be naming it as area and I will be selecting the field type as decimal numbers and now I am going to hit the button OK to create a polygon shape file. So in the next coming up videos I will be showing you how to create point and how to uh, put the values in each uh, how to fill the attributes in QGIS while, the, while creating point, line and polygon. For example I will be creating a uh, few points and I am going to specify the information for each of the point watch it specifies for example it can be an hospital it can be a school it can be a play center likewise so next uh, for example if you take line it can be a road it can be a river likewise for polygon it can be a lake it can be a forest area so likewise we are going to create individual point line and polygon features and will be giving the attribute value so that will be covered in the next video thanks for watching Terra special if you do have any doubts please to please to ask in the comment section goodbye everyone